Hello friends, let's look at another problem from the set of problems that I had posted and that is problem number 17. A finance company advertises that it will pay a lump sum of 50,000 rupees at the end of 5 years to investors who deposit annually rupees 6,000 for 5 years. What is the interest rate implicit in this offer? So again, another time value of money problem. Uh, where we have to find out the interest rate. Now, what is given? See, it says here that a, a company advertises that it will pay a lump sum of 50,000 at the end of five years. So what is 50,000 at the end of five years? That is future value. Future value is 50 thousand rupees at the end of five years to investors who deposit annually six thousand rupees for five years so we know what is n the period five years we also know what is the annuity now how do you know that it is an annuity because it says that the deposit will be made annually now, the moment the word annually is being used in any problem, it implies that that amount will be an annuity. So, therefore, the annuity here is rupees 6,000. All right. And what do we need to find out? We have to find out the interest. K, small k. What is the interest? Now, how do we find out this problem? Like every time value of money problem, we show the equation. So, future value is equal to annuity times future value interest factor. Of an annuity, the moment and an, you know, the, the moment we use annuity, we have to use F V I F A K N. Now you know what is F V? F V is fifty thousand. We know what is annuity six thousand, but we have to find out this future value interest factor of an annuity. Can we find out? Yes. I will show you how. Now, we do not know what is K, but we know what is N. N is 5 years. Now, next is, find out. F, V, I, F, A, K, 5 years, equal to 50,000, divided by 60,000, that equals to, 50 equals to 8.333. Now, what is the next step? The next, next step is you look at your future value interest factor of an annuity table, FVIFA table, table 2, all right, FVIFA table, and look at that row period, okay? Now, that is for five years now if you look at these factors here these future value interest factors you'll see there are numerous figures right now look at that figure that number the value that corresponds or comes very close to eight point three three Three. Now, which is that value that comes close to 8.333? Yes, it is 24%. No, 25% because it is 8.333, right? So 25%, 8.2070. And 30%, which is 9.0431. So... K lies 
between 25% and 30% according to the FVIFA table. All right, where the value corres that corresponds to 25% is how much? 25% 8.2070 8. 8.207 just take it as 8.207 and the value that corresponds to 30% is 9.043 so we know that the interest rate is it lies between 25% and 30% but we need to find out the exact rate, 25 point something. What is that 25 point something? All right. Now, how are we going to solve that this problem? Now, using linear interpolation, all right? in the interval we get all right 25% now we know that the interest rate lies between 25% and 30% right so it has to be 25 point something or maybe 26 27 we don't know we will find out 25% plus all right now you take this this factor that we found out 8.333 minus 8.207 divide by 9.043 minus 8.207 times the difference between 25% and 30%. What is the difference? It is 5%. So find out 8.33 minus 8.207. 0 0.126 divided by 9.043 minus 8.207.836 into 5%. So 0.126 into 5 equal to 0.63. All right. Divided by 0.836, so therefore it is 25% plus 963. 0.753, which equals to 25.753%, or rounded off to 25. 7, 5. So that is how you find out the exact rate of interest under time value of money. Thank you.